Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing kind of a different kind of video um, that I would normally do. And I'm going to be doing a get ready with me while I'm answering makeup questions. Currently, there is on here 202 beauty tag questions, but um, we're not, probably not going to go through 202, but we're going to go through quite a lot. And I wanted to kind of get ready and just make myself feel a little bit better because sometimes in this quarantine it is a little bit better just to sit down and put makeup on and make yourself feel a little bit better and do things that you love to get your mind off it. So that is what I'm doing today and um, if you do this video though, don't forget to do the fun YouTube things as well as go and follow my social media platforms across the internet but without further ado I think I'm going to get right on in to the makeup. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to answer a few different questions before I move on to my eyebrows. So, what's your current favourite skincare product? I think my favourite skincare product going through everything would probably be this rosehip oil that I love, that I would wear even if I didn't do my full skincare routine. I love that, which leads to the next question, which essential oil do you use the most? Definitely rose oil or rose hip oil. It's something like that. I will put it on the screen. Which makeup brand is your favorite? Um, this can go across a lot of things, but at the minute, I would 101% say it would be Morphe because most of the stuff from Morphe I've tried, I have absolutely loved. Um, do you love to curl your eyelashes? No, it terrifies me in case they fall out. So I never ever do that. And how difficult is it to draw a wing liner? Um, for me, very difficult because sometimes a liner doesn't look nice on me. So I never really try it. And I can never get the angle right. It always makes my eyes look quite long. Um, mascara, a simple eyelash curler. Definitely mascara. Terrified of eyelash curlers. What's your opinion on the world famous Becca highlighter? To be honest, I have never tried it, so I don't know. It looks really amazing and it's obviously world famous, so it is probably really good, but I've never tried it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by doing my eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with my Revolution pencil that I absolutely love. Another question is how important do you think baking is for makeup? Now that is quite controversial because baking could either make your makeup look really cakey if you use too much or it could just kind of set but personally I have never baked and I probably won't ever because it is a little bit unnecessary by caking like loads of powder to your foundation so um, personally Bacon is not for me. By the way, I'm just concealing my eyebrows with a little bit of the ColourPop concealer. Right, which is your favorite moisturizer? I am, um, ooh. I use three of them once. Nivea, there is like a Nivea cream that I love. A Clinique moisturizer pink thing that I love and there's a Philosophy one that I've really been loving at the minute. But those are my three like top three. Um, serum or moisturizer, I'm gonna definitely say moisturizer. Do you really feel that primer is necessary before applying moisturizer? Some primers, yes, but say if you have a hydrating primer I don't think it's really that necessary because moisturizer is kind of a hydrating thing if you know what I mean but maybe like pore or something that a moisturizer isn't really gonna do probably yes how important is your skincare regime for you 
quite important but not as important as other people's and um, I like because my skin is sometimes different in consistency I don't do my skincare every single day I will do it twice a week once a week just to kind of keep my skin going because otherwise it will go too dry too spotty and get a little bit more clogged up than I want it to be so which cream do you apply at night it is formula night cream it's purple it is very very good and I do see a difference when I use that um, is it necessary to buy night cream? Not really, but say when you haven't had loads of sleep and you apply that, boom! Which makeup item you bought first with your pocket money? I'm definitely going to say the Naked Triage palette and I will continue to have that forever because I remember buying that and I thought that was amazing. I remember that so much. Are you comfortable with liquid foundation or powder matte? Definitely going to say liquid. Sometimes powder matte makes my skin look a little bit too caked on. So I like to go in with a liquid foundation then a powder to kind of balance everything out. Quickly before I move on to foundation, I'm just going to take some brow gel and fluff up these eyebrows. For foundation, I'm going to use a mix of my favourite water blend and NARS Natural Radiant. The next question, what's your definition of beauty? Beauty is not just on the outside, it's also who you are inside. And everybody is beautiful. Everybody is. Which drugstore drugstore brand is your beer? To be honest, I don't know. Like, there is not one drugstore brand that I love to buy from. There's different, like, I feel like drugstore brands can be kind of iffy. There is some products that from that brand that you will love and some of them that you will be a bit like, um, no thank you. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know for that one. Which cosmetic brand is amazing yet underrated? I'm going to say The Ordinary. Oh no, Kiko. Matte or glossy lips? Glossy. Do, do you love to try dupe products? Of course. Who doesn't? Um, and also... I'm going in with some Jeffree Star and some Colourpop to conceal my under eyes. If you were asked to carry out only one makeup item, then what would that be? I am definitely bronzer. A hundred percent. What's your current face wash? Face wash? I use a Nivea one. I'm going to go in with some Jeffree Star Magic Setting Powder. For the record, this is my favourite. One of my favourite things to do at the minute is take like any set and spray and kind of drench your beauty blender with it and just go under where you just put all of that powder. Do you use any DIY facial mask at home? Never, probably because I don't want to put eggs on my face. <laughs> well, that's the only ones I've seen. Which is your favorite scrub at the moment? Definitely clean and clear blackhead remover. That is out of this world. If you find an alternative to a luxury brand, then will you still use that? Definitely still use the luxury brand product because it was expensive, so I want to make my most out of it. Now though, I'm going to go in with some bronzer. My new favourite bronzer is the Maybelline City Bronzer. Now this looks a bit dark, but this is really pretty on my face and I love a dark bronzer. This is in the shade Deep Cool. Do you ever buy products out of curiosity? Yes. How important is an attractive product packaging? To me, not that important, but it can't look too kind of shoved away to the side. It needs to kind of have that little bit of buzz about it so people are drawn to it, if you know what I mean. If a product is effective but does not have a promising label or graphics, then would you still buy it? 
Now I think promise and label is the thing that makes you want to buy things. So if it doesn't have that, then it's going to be quite hard for people for you to actually sell it, if you know what I mean. So I think it needs to have some kind of promise and label, otherwise people are not going to buy it because they're going to be like, oh, what does that do? How is it different to other products, if you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to go in with some L'Oreal Shaving Glow. I actually really, really love this. I'm going to go into some Blush Blush, California. I've been loving this one recently. I'm going to go into some Rosie Photograph Highlighter. How important is advertising, advertisement while purchasing any cosmetic? As I've literally just said, um, quite important because if it doesn't have the right advertisement, how are we going to know as consumers? It houses different to the one that I'm already using already. Do you know what I mean? Um, I like to kind of go in with some freckles recently. So I'm going to take this Clinique eyeshadow, this really dark brown eyeshadow, and just kind of stamp them on there. Do you read online reviews while buying a particular product? Well, I think just like anyone nowadays, um, I kind of like to, mostly I will take advice from fellow YouTubers. Most of my products I have bought because of what they have recommended. Um, but also if I was just scrolling through eBay or whatever, um, I would definitely kind of look at the online reviews and see how many stars it has or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to take some... Glossy or dry matte, what is your favourite eyeliner? Definitely matte eyeliner. I'm going to go into my Colourpop palette and take the shade Meadow. now and I'm going to go into the shade Addicted and blend that into the, we'll pack that into the crease crease. And I want to kind of very softly blend that out using a mix of these two colours. Again from the Morphe, the Morphe 35 V. black and deepen up the outer corner and kind of blend it into the crease a bit and I'm just going to take the same shade that I used to blend the shades out again and I'm going to do that on the outer corner. I'm going to take the tiniest bit of the deeper purple colour and use the transition pink. What I've liked to do recently is take like a little brush, like an angle brush and tuck the black shade onto my lash that and take an incy wincy brush and kind of just blend it out with the purple on it. Gonna take like kind of bronzy kind of shape like this one. Then just very lightly brush that on it. And 
then I'm gonna go into color pop one. This one here. I'm going to this shade right here. some mascara and like every look I do naughty blushes eyes are done I feel so pretty in this makeup but it's time for more questions um, so, which brand of fake eyelashes lasts longer? I've only tried Primark and Tarty Lashes, but now Tarty Lashes are amazing. Which cosmetic brand have you never tried? Ooh, Ofra. There is a few that I haven't tried and really want to. Elf, I haven't tried any Elf product. Physicians Formula, I can't even think. Heavy coverage, moderate coverage, or low coverage? What works best for you? Um, I'm definitely gonna say low or moderate because on every day I will use low coverage foundation, but on today's day where I think I want a bit more glam, I will go moderate. Concealer, do you use on a regular basis? Morphe or Colourpop? What type of eyeshadow palette is your babe? James Charles palette. Nude look or vibrant look? What do you prefer? Vibrant. I love dramatic eyeshadow. What is your best bought product ever? James Charles palette or any other Morphe palette? In which product do you usually splurge your money? Foundation, eyeshadow palettes. Who are your favorite beauty gurus? 101% Tarty. I love Tarty and from the beginning, I have loved Shanik So or Shannon Harris. She's been the OG since like me starting out makeup years and years and years ago when I was just starting to get into it. I love her. Time for some lips. Okay, so that is a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys for sitting down and just thank you guys if you've made it to the end. Um, I I actually really enjoyed filming this kind of video. I'm actually done this kind of one like a year ago. God. Um, and I actually really enjoyed it. So just like little itty bitty beauty questions. Um, I think if you have any of the answers, comment it down below. Maybe you want to answer them too. That's perfect. Um, but don't forget to go and follow the other social media platforms and um, do the fun YouTube things. And don't forget to stay safe during this horrible time. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye everyone.